Cyberpunk 2077 was removed from the PlayStation Store merely a week after its release. Will it ever return? We're going to talk about it after the drop. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game Chat, our weekly episode that isn't really <laughs> weekly, but we promise it's coming back. We're actually going to use this opportunity to uh, talk about some recent sort of news with Cyberpunk 2077 and also kind of our first mini episode of Game Rant um, because <laughs> there's kind of a lot that's going on uh, with this game. It had a terrible launch amongst other things. So as stated in the intro, it was removed from the PlayStation Store uh, digitally and unable to purchase for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 owners because of its poor performance. Chase, give me your take on this. I, I've got so many words about it. I just, we've talked about it off camera since the game was coming out. And I'm personally not a huge CD Projekt Red fanboy, right? Yeah. Like I played The Witcher 3 and 35 or 38 hours into it, I just wasn't my thing. So whatever. Um, I was curious about the game, but as it approached launch, I was like, I don't know. And then after it came out, it was just like, <laughs> like just a dump, man. Like there was terrible. so many, so many uh, bugs and glitches in oh, yeah. poor performance, especially for the previous generation consoles, Xbox should One never and have, PlayStation Four. Yeah, I, honestly, that held them back. A hundred percent, or something should have been delayed. Uh, yeah. So again, <laughs> due to this poor performance, um, you know, it was removed from the store. And it's been, I, I want to say, close to 100 days or something like that. I saw in some other uh, IGN article where they mentioned it. And it has not returned. And, and one of the big factors here, too, that I'm thinking of is uh, Sony is out here selling a digital console. I myself have the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Mm -hmm. I literally couldn't play this game even if I wanted to. Right. So this is pretty huge. And I can't really think of any other games in the past where... It has Fallout been, 76 survived. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> the, I, there's been very few games that have been pulled from any platforms unless that game was completely shutting down. Cyberpunk is still being supported. That's the other kind of crazy thing is the game has had updates and it is still not back. In February, like 1.2, which was supposed to fix a lot of like, I guess the police issues because the police system was broken. <laughs> so bad. I don't know. And um, they haven't it's the end of March and there hasn't been a release of it. They teased it again, March 22nd to say like, it's coming. Here we are last Friday of the month. Got nothing. <laughs> another month, another delay. Like it's just, it's crazy, man. And even going back to like articles right around the time the game launched, I feel like Jason Schreier had some interviews with anonymous developers that were just like, there's we told them shouldn't make shouldn't release it <laughs> can't it's not done it won't be done and um here we are and look at that right in a game that had <laughs> such huge hype and was delayed it was announced on the PS3. and then delayed again was and then it? once it was released it was like a broken buggy mess yeah and then it was removed from the playstation digital store which is pretty huge it got that is huge no matter what you say about reviews physical versus digital. up and down That's all over the place between, you know, even IGN gave it a nine on the PC and a four on the console, <laughs> right? And then they announced this patch that's supposed to fix it. It doesn't come. They they tease it. It's fix coming. Some of it. It's coming. It's a coming in ago. March. Got nothing. March twenty second. It. Where's it at? Here we are now, March twenty eighth. This is the end of the month. We're running yeah. out of time. It's coming yeah. gone. Yeah, exactly. And it's like. To me, it's too little too late. I don't even want to touch the game. I don't care. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I, if it gets fixed, it's... I don't know. Dude, I don't have any uh, intent on playing the Avengers. Why would I play Cyberpunk? It all just sounds like a mess to me. I two different types of games, but they're both ones that launched poorly and had support. You know, and it's just... Everything I've seen of the game, I feel like my immersion's broken before even trying to be immersed. <laughs> just like... T-poses and bodies falling out of cars i don't know man cops appearing out of nowhere behind mm -hmm. you immediately it like, just it doesn't appeal to me at all there's just so much 
that is wrong with the game. And I, I know that I've talked to a few uh, friends and other people on forums that really did enjoy the game. Yeah. But I also don't think that it it lived up to its hype. You know, I mean, here we are more than three months after release and it's not even available digitally on one store. It's on sale all over the place physically. Like it, it's just never going to be anywhere near what it was supposed to be or even yeah. the, the regards that Witcher 3 has. And I think that this has put a huge stain on CD Projekt Red. 1000%. Witcherino 3, you know, like that, 3. <laughs> that game was critically acclaimed and loved by fans and so many people cited as like one of the greatest games. I know that you and I played it. I put it in like 200 hours. I'm yeah. so, so mixed on it. Like the combat was not great, but the story and the side missions were cool. Yeah, I was gonna say the writing, the characters, the world, all great. I just didn't enjoy playing it. <laughs> and I can't Which... say that I thought that it was like a masterpiece. Yeah. To, to me, I, I put tons of times in a lot of other Just games. Just 200 like, hours. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the Mass Effect series of games and, and would call those, you know, some of my, you know, top, yeah. especially in the moment while I was playing those games. And this, it, it just, it wasn't. But even for the high regard that it had, and then this thing with Cyberpunk, like, not only will Cyberpunk 2077 ever come back to the PlayStation Store, but will CD Projekt Red ever recover from this? Uh, that's a good question, because I feel like they were the the golden children you know like everyone's like cd project red take that ea this is how companies should be run move over activision blizzard nobody cares about you cd project red they're the, and then they do this and everyone's like we never liked them anyway they're the largest indie developers they're so great like yeah exactly it's like largest indie developers they they like okay. <laughs> they literally turned into the villain in the story. Like I, I yeah. just it's so their response was terrible too. Their the, response to all of their it, PR like, handling of everything is awful. Just like I, whatever they're saying, they're like, "Hey, we understand there are issues, but like that's your opinion, man. We'll get it fixed." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just a mess. I, yeah, I, I don't. Know. I'm, I'm highly disappointed in uh, CD Projekt Red and, and in our notes I have like, this game sucks. I haven't even played it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna give it the time of day though. And one of the things that is important with games, uh, especially in this day's age where, uh, you know, media and information is so quickly available on everything. And I think the stories that surrounds the games has something to do with, you know, the effect that they actually have. And I'm gonna bring like up Last The Last of Us, of Us 2. Two. <laughs> Specifically because I played a couple hours of the first Last of Us. Didn't really care. I was like, nah, it's not my thing. I'm not going to hate on anybody for liking it. I just couldn't get into it, I right? Will. Then when, you know, this whole controversy came out, like, I I didn't even read all of those, the, the articles and stuff. I just knew there was, like, this aura and thing around it that it was, like, so, you know, it was, like, either you liked it or you hated it. Super right? divisive, yeah. Yeah, it was like one way or the other. There was no compromise in it, and that drove me to play it. I, I you know, I was thinking yeah. about buying it, and I had a friend at work at the time that, uh, you know, had the game and lent it to me. Which I guess, you know, kudos to physical editions for being able to borrow stuff. The one time it helped me, but <laughs> I was able to play through that game, and I, I was, you know, gripped right from the beginning. Yeah. and enthralled through the whole story was just like I could not wait to get done working to get home to play The Last of Us 2 to <laughs> yeah. figure out what happened next you know it really felt yeah. like this um, episodic uh, season of a show that just kept driving me so good and so now here on the you know opposite end we have <laughs> Cyberpunk that has the most atrocious story around it between you know uh, blatant disregard for developers lives i'll say to a certain degree with and finances I yeah mean, the, they, the they pay were, was tied to rotten or like not rotten tomatoes metacritic, metacritic. right yeah yeah their, their bonuses were they were That's treated ridiculous. poorly worked long hours and i know that like you know even in regular type of jobs right like i, I work a desk job more or less and uh you know, sure, sometimes you got to put in some overtime and stuff. And, and I know that there are developers out there that will say, well, you know, sure, we had mandatory crunch and 50 hour weeks, but I was willing to do that. Like, you know, this is a passion project for me or whatever. There, there will be people and experiences where, you know, yes, there was this thing, but it was a thing, right? You know, 
It, it's not necessarily yeah. bad. It's not necessarily good. And the people that were it's not doing a bad it, thing. it's just a thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just a thing, right? Yeah. And you know, lots of people in their jobs will be willing to do that. But from everything that we heard from Jason Schreier's inside uh, informants, it wasn't a choice. It, it like there was just so much wrong with this game, and it, it's. It's crazy, and to be honest, I'm I'm kind of chuckling inside with uh, the wave that they rode with Witcher because while they had good games before, I don't think that they got really, you know, the the craven fans and, and critical acclaim until The Witcher Three, and it was yeah. like they had this like high ego now. Oh, we're the greatest game company on earth. <laughs> Stay humble. Stay humble, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's um it was just it's wild to watch because. It's you're kind of I don't want to say you're doomed from the start, but like it's hard once you announce a game with your pedigree of a studio. Because didn't they announce it before Witcher Three came out? I don't it's know. It's been it was that like long, seven right? or eight years. It's been a long time, yeah. Right. So it's like it's like oh, dude, they're doing cyberpunk. They're doing something based on this tabletop RPG that a lot of people love. Like it's like there's that group of people that are gonna be disappointed, and then there's. All these other people that played The Witcher 3 and were like, oh, dude, the writing, the story is awesome. They get an unfinished story where literally none of your decisions apparently matter. I don't know. We haven't played it. So this is all just like what my friends have said, like, and, and who's who have played it. But like, there's different tracks you can go on and none of them seem to add up to anything like, yeah, super unique. And it's like, nothing landed. And you had everything to you had everything to lose, <laughs> like, and you kind of lost it. Like, yeah, it really will get better. It, I'm it, sure the game will you know? get better, but I will say it is uh, probably a perfect example of an unfortunate series of events. <laughs> a series of unfortunate events. Yeah, Lemony Snicket is up in here <laughs> throwing around unfortunate <laughs> events at uh, Cyber. Yeah. I think that's really all we got for today. I don't want to let the rant go on too long. Yeah, sorry. Uh, if you uh, <laughs> hung out this long and you enjoyed this content, feel free to give it a slap a like. My son's Lego. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> slap that a like. And uh, feel free to subscribe because we do, you know, lots of chat gaming content and we're also getting into some gaming and tech review product and some other stuff where uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a wild ride. So. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. I can't believe I didn't say that earlier. Uh, yeah, because there's probably a lot of thoughts. <laughs> give us your thoughts. Did you have a, a good experience? Thoughts. Bad experience? Where did you play it? What did you think? Uh, let us know. Until then, Game Club out. <laughs>